Hey, it's WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley, and I'm urging you, please, watch Danny Jones' vlog. Uh, like it, subscribe, and you will have a nice day. Brendan's Big Lewis, Dino's Big Lewis, Dan's Big Lewis. Yeah, <laughs> I, said, I said that. I said my mate, didn't I? <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. So everyone say hello to Lewis. Uh, uh. But uh, what was I say? See you at the show. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know he's your vlog, mate. <laughs> Dictating it like <laughs> he's gone all shy and saying like Lewis, he, uh, Sorry, he's, he's, he's quite a, quite a litty person <laughs> really. But um, yeah, we're just gonna meet Brendan in my corner. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the vlog. Tell uh, the audience right who Lewis Smith is. Um, hi everyone, audience of Danny Jones, Lewis Smith is me. Um, just dropped my phone. Um, go check me out on Lewis and the Swim in May UK. That's what I work for, I'm um, reporting on mixed martial arts, UFC. Oh yeah, he is, yeah. Uh, Cage Warriors, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, he does all like MMA journalism, is, it? is that what you call it? MMA journalism. MMA journal journalism, so. I can't fight but I can talk about it good. You just swore on my channel, bro. Sorry. Have you seen any of my videos? Is it, is it PG? Yeah, it's PG, but I'll, I'll bleep it out, so. Bleep it out, yeah. Yeah. Keep that up. But um, always make sure, you know, the language is uh, PG. PG. So, I can't fight for... But <laughs> check out MMA UK, sweet reviews and stuff like that. Yeah, he loves it. Much appreciated, guys. Just gonna film me like all the way. So do like a wistful look out the window. Yeah. So, Ambient, nonchalant. Blue steel. You can't do that, but <laughs> you can't do that. Right, you're on, you're on YouTube, by and I can't jump in. I gotta go in. I gotta go in in the front. So the ball, yeah, it's pay point. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'll give you the That's a lesson for you. If you want automatic shotgun, guaranteed shotgun, Log in. make your own vlog. <laughs> How are you today, anyway, Brendan? Good, mate. Good. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Always been on my list of. Uh, I want to see, like, you know, so yeah. like, checklist. Like, it's kind of good now because, like, uh, Flash is like, he's like, uh, like a celebrity friend of mine now. So he's like, um, you know, like Gaz of Jory Show level, like, you know, Z list. <laughs> uh, it's good, and I feel like I'm reaping the perks now, you know what I mean? I never thought I'd you. Uh, uh, it's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd hear him refer to as Gaz. <laughs> Z list now, isn't it? A little bit of sled now, isn't it? Flash G Show, like. <laughs> <laughs> He was though, wasn't he? Okay, he, was, yeah, he, was, he was getting in as soon as he saw the camera out. You, uh, you held back a bit then, didn't you? He doesn't want to show his true self on YouTube. You saw that in the last video anyway. His true self, just angry bit of Brendan. Go on, Lou. Get, right, you've known Brendan the longest, right? Enlighten us on your honest opinion of Brendan. Brendan is the only boy I know. I was afraid of butterflies. That's it's actually his weakness. I'm not afraid, afraid of butterflies. butterflies. You're afraid of butterflies? No, I'm in. Okay. Um, You're afraid of butterflies, you? No. Okay. That's all I'll say. I don't want to say anything more than that. How are you driving today then, Brendan or Lewis? Lewis got a brand new car pretty much. Apparently, it's kind of got a, a convenient service, did not it? Day of the trip. You ain't happy about that, are you? He's skating around the motorway. That's the, that's the truth. He can't, he can't drive anywhere outside of the youth because I was trying to go any. Right then, you, you want a nice picture of you boys? Ready? Wanna right, smile? Cheese. <laughs> oh, that was a good one, Good. 
Hold on one second, let me take another one, it's out of focus. Are you do one with you for your own as well? What food shops are on the other end, Brent? There's a Chinese up there, there's an Indian, and there's a chip shop as well. Oh, it's a chip shop, oh, amazing chip shop as well. Oh, is yeah. it now? Yeah, yeah. This is what Brent, this is what Brent was brought us to, right? He was like, oh, figuring it out, being like, oh, like, yeah, let's go for food, let's go for food. Brings us for a little chippy, right? And that's my serving. That's my serving for a chip that he's shopping stuff. How do you feel about that? He's kept it, huh? How do you feel about that? Um, I feel a bit disappointed, to be honest. You know, maybe it's just me because I'm from a male I'm in the Great Boy Comp, right? And we had we had a chippy called Carmel Town fish shop we'd always go to, right? I'm not even funny, the boy like that. Jumping large. Alright. One size for two. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's your thumbnail right there. I've seen one Thumbnail. You've seen that he is a Yeah. I'm on the I'm on the crap food guy. Right? Better the daily lunch bowl, don't it? Hey, back in the gym Ooh. You're hard showing off. Oh, I'll be straight in the story. What do you do, Bino? <laughs> We're ready for it, lads. But then starting. Ready for something. Soon. Starting soon. What are you gonna ask him then, Lou? Go on. Uh, I'm gonna ask him about I'm just gonna ask him what he thinks about the pedestrianisation of Norwich City Centre, I think. Yeah, very good question. See how he feels. What about you, Bren? Huh? What what's what's the one question you're gonna ask? What was your mindset doing the three faces of Holy Pro? Nice. Oh, I would ask Beano, but he's just been unsociable all day, really, haven't he? Ripper Dash, Morgan Webster. He looks like the milk tree man, doesn't he? He loves it. <laughs> I look like a milk tree man. You are the milk tree man. <laughs> well, there he is. We're in the. Uh, you doing one of these things today. Yeah, I'm doing one of these things. So we're in the company of uh, Dave Mercy. Hello. Quite a regular at the vlog now, really, you know. You know what I mean? You've been on it a couple of times. What's his third time? Yeah, I think I it might don't be. No, because you didn't let me know when I'm on it. I think it might be the third time. He has got a fresh. That fresh, that fresh V going Jeez. on. That's right. Yeah, keeping that grey back. So, um, I mean? so what are you what are you going to ask? What are you going to ask him, Dave? <laughs> That's the real question here. What? What are you going to ask him? What am I going to ask Foley? Yeah. Um, we got a show on January 12th. We've had a couple of dropouts. So if you're not busy, oh, there we are. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I did that. I plugged and I gave content. Zoom in my head. You need a fish angle on that. Yeah. <laughs> fish. <laughs> How are we doing, Bristol? We good? As you can see, I've come dressed for the occasion. If anyone does have uh, tickets for uh, Birmingham tomorrow, I will be in a white shirt and uh, brown uh, chinos. Of course, I'm coming as mankind. It's a shame really that we don't have a third night because I would have rocked that tie-dye shirt, let me tell you. I really would have. But yeah, we're gathered here today. Oh, it's wet, is it? We're gathered here today. Uh, for all the same reason, we've come here to, to spend an evening with somebody that has touched our lives and up until tonight, so a lot of you would never have met him. No, I'm just like you guys, big Mick Foley fan. Can you guys be rock through with you? Please put your hands together for the WWE Hall of Famer. Mrs. Foley's baby boy, the one, the only, Mick Foley! Uh, thank you, Flash. Uh, I don't want to start out on a down note. Um, but I was actually disappointed to hear my music because oh, you, <laughs> before we went out, Jamie said, uh, you know, do you have a choice in music? I said, uh, you know, Rack uh, by Jim Johnston, you know, Johnston with a T, J-O-H-N-S-T-O-N. He said, if we don't have that second choice, what did I say? Um, he was like, 
Have you got Becky Lynch's music? <laughs> Let me segue by uh, sending out a voice message here. Oh, <laughs> Becky. Hi, <laughs> it's the hardcore legend Mick Foley. Hey! I'm here in the UK, and I'm bragging to people that I know you well enough to get a text back from you. <laughs> Want to make me look good? In front of the boys. <laughs> there we go. And one of the cool things, uh, <laughs> I was just talking about this like yesterday. Um, that uh, it was it was uh, three years ago, three and a half years ago. It was my son Huey's birthday, and we were in Florida. We didn't really have something picked out. He and he he loved NXT at the time. And so I looked up their schedule, and there was an NXT house show like three and a half hours away in an armory. And so I called WWE, because I still, my name still means a little something there. <laughs> and, uh, and so they knew we were coming, but the, the NXT wrestlers did not know they were coming. So there's a little armory, a couple hundred people, and all of a sudden the Foley family comes in to celebrate a birthday. And so I just got to have some cool uh, pictures you know, at the show, the first time I met Becky. But my wife remarked, like, how odd it was to see the wrestlers breaking down the ring. And uh, I said, that's the best way to learn. You know, you're literally learning from the bottom up. Even though these people, in some cases, you know, that have six, eight, ten years of experience, you know, you learn humility that way. I think that's a, a Shane, uh, Shane McMahon started on the ring crew as a, as a teenager, you know, I, and Mr. McMahon's really big on, uh, you know, um, on, on starting from the bottom and working your way up. And I think that's the best way to learn. You know, you're, 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 you know, you can't go any lower. And uh, I always promised myself that when I made it, I would help the guys set up the ring. And that's one promise I never made good on. I never, <laughs> never actually set up another ring myself. That seems like a sunset flip is like a nothing move, right? First of all, it's not a very good false finish. A false finish by the nature of the word should lead someone to believe it could be the ending of the match. You tell me the last time someone has won a match with a small with a sunset flip, right? It gets no reaction because no one's ever won a match in the last ten years. But at the time, like that was like the apex of what I thought a human body was capable of doing. And when he talked to me about a sunset flip, I was just like, I can't do it. And he ended up staying afterwards. All everyone else went went home. And he stayed with me and we worked on that sunset flip. And when I realized I could do a sunset flip, I thought I could fly. And then I was able to take that elementary move and almost everything I did went through a thought process of like, okay, that looks good. It would look better on the concrete, wouldn't it? And so that was my philosophy of it. it looks good in the ring, it'll look better out there. And then because I couldn't jump high, I learned to jump from high places. And so <laughs> the sunset flip, I think it wasn't stupid enough, you know, like uh, to do it off the ring apron. You know, there's this one with Van Hammer where somebody says, a good thing Nick had the presence of mind to move the protective mats before doing the sunset flip just to ensure that it would do grievous bodily harm for me. And so I would get a two count out of something that would literally hurt me for six weeks. Uh, Please welcome to the stage Mickey Lynch! The show just finished. Big photo show, yeah. So the show just finished. It was class. Gavin McCauley smashed it today. I didn't win the belt. No, he didn't win the belt. He's picked it the bar. But we all had a good laugh. Brendan's question didn't get called out, which is a shame. You would have thought all the flash would have pulled a few strings, put the on the top. But he did mention me saying I got a gold ticket just now. Yeah. So we'll be meeting McCauley now. He's a top five best of me, so I'm like, particularly excited about now, so... Bit more.
Just move back a bit more. Move back, move back. 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 Yeah, that's better. Well, see now, you can still see his head from a mile off, but... You can still see his head from a mile off. I'm son. Good. Yeah, you enjoy. He's a nice guy. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah. Hey, it's WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley, and I'm urging you, please watch Danny Jones's vlog. Uh, like it, subscribe, and you will have a nice day. We're gonna call the vlog there. It'll be a sick evening. What are you? Got to be with my best well, sick evening. Yeah. yeah. So good on. I'm bang. I'm buzzing about that. And you, you make himself right. He said, like the video, subscribe to the channel. So make sure you do that because it all helps make the channel grow. I need to hit five subs by the end of the year. That's my goal. He, he, he also forgot to say, follow man like Bino and follow Bronco as well. It's yeah, just, yeah, do that as well. Yeah. Yeah, Twitter handles just. There. By here. There. I'd like mine by there. Stronger one's yeah. gonna go by here. Mine's by there. <laughs> Mine's gonna go <laughs> by here. Okay. Um, on the actual vlog, yeah. Danny's gonna mug us off. Yeah. I'm buzzing off. Yeah, MMA UK in the back as well. We'll sort him over there. Yeah, man. But uh, the Boodle Glow is coming down pretty heavy. Beam's gonna get in his car. Brennan's gonna drop his own. And now we're gonna rest. See you in the next one. Safe. Thanks for watching.